So when we look at scientific design, the female environment is never really examined. So now that we're trying to get more women involved, those protocols and the study designs are still male based. And we look at language, we look at some of the recruitment factors, and they're still very exclusionary. Mm -hmm. So as we start getting into more the modern idea behind it, that's where people started using menstrual cycle as an excuse not to include women. And they use the menstrual cycle and estrus as a reason to exclude female rats. So we can go all the way back to rat data, cell data. It's always been cis male orientation because that's how the scientific and the medical community started. Mm -hmm. Kind of feels like a little bit of, of a human rights movement to ensure that the science is benefiting everyone, females, even you know minority groups, et cetera. Yeah, it is across the board. It's like you look at ethnic differences between uh, medical conditions and there's a very small subset, but that's not out there. We look at things like menopause experiences between African-American and Caucasian-American, and they're different. Part of it's sociocultural, but also it's part of the symptomology that occurs. We look at um, inclusion in sport and training protocols. Those are different between ethnicities. And, and so when we start looking at medicine and outcomes for anyone other than a white person, they're poor outcomes. If we look at outcomes for anyone other than a white male, then they're poor outcomes. So it's just, it, it's pretty much invasive within everything that we know. So unpack it all and redo it all is going to take a massive systemic revamp, which I don't think anyone is willing to do. So we have to learn from what's already been done and acknowledge the fact that there is so many exclusionary aspects within it and start to build forward, have better scientific design, better inclusionary aspects, or physiologists to be working with sociologists to understand the culture and the language to be as on point as possible to get the right scientific design, get the right people into those studies to be able to disseminate it appropriately. Is it starting to change? Are you feeling a, a shift within the research community? Uh, yes, but we still have a long way to go. I mean, I look over the past four or five years and we've had kind of the global aspect of female athletes starting to talk about their periods or starting to talk about how, you know, there's a, a lot of women that pulled out of the Olympics at the nth hour because it was a five year schedule schedule instead of a four year. Mm 